to the age we live in, the atomic age, the age of speed and science. Salute the heroes of our age, youth. The triumphant march of modern progress demands the vigor of brains and muscles that are young. At work and play, success is for the young. The heroes we cheer, the stars we idolize, all enjoy this precious gift of youth, the best years of our lives. And we can never have enough of them. That's why the birthdays hurrying by find many of us struggling to roll back the years. And for some, it's an uphill grind all the way. On every side, it's let youth show the way. The future is in their hands. Yes, sir, what this country needs is more young blood. Experienced driver required by major oil company between the ages 21 to 27. Young career girls. Smart young man for night work as cashier and checker must be good at figures. Please sit down. I'm sorry, we have nothing to offer you. But you haven't even looked at my qualifications. I know I could do the job. I'm sorry, but we can't consider you because of your age. It's the policy of the firm, and there's nothing further I can do. Good day. Too old by one year and he's lost the chance to show he could do the job as well as the next man. The personnel manager will see you now. How many refusals does it take to make a man realize he's suddenly useless merely because of his date of birth? But Dad's been looking for a job for months now, Mom. It's not been as easy to find work as we expected. Why doesn't Daddy go back to his old job? Well, you see, dear, the place Daddy used to work has closed down. Oh, hello, darling. How was it today? Well, I've tried every place I can. If it'll help out any, Dad, I don't have to go to university. Nonsense. Your father's going to get a job. He's 15 years yet before he has to retire. I'll say I'm too old. How can they say you're too old to do the same job you've done all your life? You're not too old to have a home and bring up a family and be chairman of the hospital board. Yet they say you're too old to work. The whole situation is ridiculous. Of course it's ridiculous. Men of 60 and more are not too old to hold down some of the most vital jobs going. 80% of locomotive engineers are over 45. Dozing in the chair car, we entrust our lives to the skill and alertness of the man at the controls without a second thought. Many other jobs demand the judgment and ability which can only be won by years of hard experience. Yet, these men and women would not even be considered for a job by the many firms with age barriers. The study of aging is still a young science. No one can yet describe fully the many complex changes which together we call growing old. Measuring emotional responses and recording brain activity are just two of many tests which show how the different parts of one person's mind and body may age at different rates so that experts agree the number of years a man has lived is a most unreliable measure of his abilities. In recent years, 
there's been a major shift in employment to the manufacturing and retail industries, which now provide an increasing share of the jobs available in Canada. And large firms of this type, with their highly developed employment procedures, are the most likely to have age barriers. With one third of the labor potential over 45, the problem becomes one of national concern. The decision to remove age limits in employment and take on older workers can only be made by the top level of management. Many who would have to make such a decision might well be expected to appreciate the useful qualities that come with age. Several Canadian firms are already showing leadership by removing age restrictions in hiring. Our firm was a little doubtful at first about lifting age limits. It's been my business to analyze every job in the plant and list the actions it involves. Every job is classified according to the exact abilities a man needs to do it efficiently. We've tried to fill every job by these specifications and hire the man who fits them best, whether he's 16 or 60. Except for the heaviest manual labor, our older men can tackle pretty nearly everything the younger man can do, and just as well. My job classifications show many places where the older man's reliability, judgment and persistence give him a steadier output with less spoilage. The war proved that older men can learn most jobs as fast, provided the new work is not a complete break with the past. After 20 or 30 years in industry, a man is careful and responsible in handling expensive equipment, and he stays on the job. A man starting in at 45 has 20 years productive life ahead of him. We've found on the whole that hiring him is a paying proposition. Outside the factory, closer to home, we take for granted that most older people are mature, steady, and responsible, just by virtue of the greater experience of life. Traditionally, our elders are our betters, respected and looked to for advice and guidance. They're dependable because they've had time to build up a real stake in the community. Often enough, we bow to their superior knowledge and skill right in our own kitchens. These same qualities tell in the older worker's favor at his job. Even the routine of years in going off to work is to his advantage. Mr. Jackson, right on time as usual. Statistics based on a study of 17,000 workers confirm that absenteeism is generally highest for those under 20, declining steadily through the higher age groups. In turnover, where it often costs $200 to replace a man in the lowest grade of labor, figures prove that the older man's sense of responsibility keeps him on the job. The older worker's reliability and steadiness mean that he takes fewer chances. Accident rates reflect his better record. In absenteeism, turnover, and accident rates, the older employee is superior. And scientific studies into the relative productivity of workers by age groups show the older person generally equals or betters the record of younger workers.
Nevertheless, the hard fact remains that one out of every three Canadians looking for a job today is over 45. To meet this situation, special counseling for older applicants is now provided in the offices of the National Employment Service. Here, the worker over 45, discouraged by repeated failure even to get an interview with employers, is given a sympathetic hearing. An understanding counsellor, in touch with the current employment situation, can direct the applicant's training and ability to the most promising occupational field. Give fresh heart for the difficult search ahead. But the final answer can lie neither with the counsellor nor the worker. Only individual employers reviewing their hiring policies to eliminate unnecessary discrimination against older job seekers can offer a solution to the problem, the waste of men and women whose combined experience and dependability makes them in any year or season the most valuable labor potential in Canada. Or is it reasonable that a business negotiation between two intelligent persons should be completely frustrated by one line on an application form, date of birth? <laughs>